Hey guys, I'm Teresa. Welcome back to my channel, Lost My Thread. Today I am very excited to get to show you a jumpsuit that I've been working on in collaboration with a couple of fellow YouTubers. We've all made the Sirocco jumpsuit by Deer and Doe and I cannot wait to show you mine. So this is a pretty exciting video for me because this is the first time I'm doing a YouTube collaboration and I'm actually collaborating with two other YouTubers. So both Sarah of Naughty Gnome Crafts and Emma of So Do It Emma are also releasing videos today to share their Sirocco jumpsuits. We were having a chat because all of us had mentioned at various points that we were thinking of making this jumpsuit and decided why not all make the same jumpsuit and reveal it on the same day. The thing that's really fun to me about it in particular is that we are all quite different as far as different body types, different styles, so I feel like you're going to get some pretty different versions of this jumpsuit. I know I always really enjoy seeing the same pattern on different bodies, and so I'm really excited to be able to share with you my version. I will of course, of course put some links down below to Sarah and Emma's video if you want to check theirs out, and I strongly encourage you guys to because I know they're going to be awesome. We've been having some chats behind the scenes about what we're going to be making. I think Sarah's I'm basically going to want to copy at some point. I think it's just too perfect, too classic to not want to have one of those in my wardrobe. Emma, I know she's got some different options, so I don't know what she's actually chosen for as far as the actual fabric, but I know all the options looked amazing, so I'm so excited to see what she picked, and I'm definitely going to be checking out their videos today as well, so hop on over to their channels if you haven't been there already. If you came over from Emma or Sarah's channel, you are very welcome. I hope you enjoy seeing my version. I'm very excited to get to share with you what it looks like, but before I do that, I wanna talk a little bit about this pattern. So if you're not already familiar with it, the Sirocco jumpsuit is a jumpsuit by Deer and Doe Patterns. It's a really beautiful jumpsuit. I've been humming and hawing about whether or not to make this jumpsuit for such a long time, and I don't really know what's taken me so long. It's a jersey jumpsuit, so it's made in stretch fabric. It's meant to be fabric with at least 60% stretch. They do say in general it's better with a bit of a heavier weight fabric, but I did make a muslin, a lighter weight jersey, and I loved that version as well. So I think you just have to be a little bit careful thinking about what the fabric you choose and being aware that it might affect the overall look of what you get in the end. As far as the sizing, this one comes in their full extended size range up to a 60 inch hip, which is fantastic. And I think it's just so great that so many different types of people can make this jumpsuit. Like I said, it's such a great pattern. I feel like it looks great on everyone. You will see a ton of inspiration over on the Instagram hashtag DD Sirocco. I'll pop it up on the screen if you wanna check it out to see even more versions. But I decided for this version, I wanted to make one in a Ponte knit fabric. I made the muslin actually in a viscose jersey because I had some leftover viscose jersey. I just made the little shorts version just to see what the fit was going to be like. If I'm honest, I think the biggest reason that I didn't make this jumpsuit sooner is because of this crossover V section. So it's like a faux wrap. It's a wrap on the top of the bodice and then it's obviously trousers underneath. So it's not a wrap further down than that. And that kind of wrap thing for me often can be a little bit trickier with a fuller bust you can sometimes spill out and I didn't really want to faff around too much with the fit of it, but I thought I'm gonna make the muslin just as it is. I know that Deer and Doe draft for a C sewing cup size, so if you are having a one inch difference between your high bust and your full bust, that's an A sewing cup size. A C would be for a three inch difference between the high and the full bust. I actually have a five inch difference between my high and full bust, so I'm actually an E cup sewing size. But I felt like because it was knit, it might be okay. It can stretch. I decided just to go with it as it was. On my muslin, I was actually really happy with the fit. The only thing I wanted to do was to do a little forward shoulder adjustment, which is super standard for me, just a little half inch forward shoulder adjustment. Other than that, it was great because I sometimes need to shorten the waist a bit. Sometimes the waist is a little bit low on me, but this pattern was actually really pretty good. When I was looking at the size chart, I decided again with my muslin, I'm just gonna go with straight down the line what fit with my body measurements. So I went for a 42 on the bust, which was very much the same. I've got a full bust of 38 inches. That was 38 and a quarter inches for that size, so that was perfect. I went for the 44 for the waist and the hip. 
Again, very similar. My waist is 31 inches. That size was for 31 and a half inches. And my hips are 42 inches. And this size was meant to be for 41 and three quarters of an inch. So I felt like that was all right. Looking at the finished garment measurements, I could see that there was a bit of negative ease in the waist, which made me a little bit nervous about getting that over my hip. But actually, it goes on really easily. It doesn't feel too snug around the waist. It just feels really comfortable. And I like that it comes in at the waist to really accentuate my shape. So I am generally pretty happy with the size that I went for. The only thing is, it fits generally over the bus and everywhere where I want it to, but I can tell that it's pulling a bit at the bust area. Not so much across, I feel like it looks pretty good, but I can see underneath the bust, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it's pulling up a bit where I don't think it should be. I feel like that should be a little bit more flat, but it just wants to pull just a tiny bit. This is me being super fussy because I'm telling you what I can see that's great and not great about it. I think if you have a fuller bust, you might be better off just sizing up because it isn't, it's not like it's, I think would be too oversized because it generally is more negative ease in general because we're talking about a jersey type thing. But I feel like I'm still really happy with it. I don't think it's a problem. I'm totally gonna wear it with pride and I'm really happy with the fit on the whole considering I really didn't make any major tweaks. The fabric that I've used is this incredible, vibrant, colorful Ponte knit. I got this at the Stitch Festival and I just fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. The colors are just so bold and so fun. They're extremely not my colors, as it were, but I think because there's just so much going on, I think it looks great, and I really, really love wearing this fabric. This came from a stall from a shop that I wasn't familiar with. I think it was called Montreux Fabric. I can't speak French. It's definitely a French-sounding name or a French-looking name, so I'll pop it up on the screen so that you can see. But like I said, it's a Ponte knit, so it's a polyester knit, which I don't love necessarily. It's not something that I normally would reach for, but it's not super clingy under the arms, and I actually was wearing it when I was taking photos on a warmer day, and it was surprisingly comfortable to wear. I love the fit and the shape and the silhouette of this jumpsuit. The design is what it's all about, guys. So this has got a Sleeve set in sleeve, absolutely easy to set in because it's jersey, always goes in really super easily. As far as this V-neck, there is a band that goes around the neckband that I really like. I think it's a really cool, really high-end looking finish to it. But I will say this version, so I made it, like I said, in a viscose jersey for my test. It was perfect, no cleavage, nothing exposed, I didn't want it to. This one's a little bit lower down, and I think it's because the other one had that bit of drape to it. This Ponte is super structured. It's not really falling on me. It's just gonna sit where it sits, because I feel like the viscose maybe fell in a little bit more and covered things up. I don't quite know how it works, but I'm just telling you guys. It's not like this is super low by any means, and I think it's very, very wearable. My biggest thing is I like to try and make things that are really versatile in my wardrobe and I like to be able to wear things to work as well as well as wearing them at home and when I'm out and about. I'm a midwife for my profession and I often lean over and forward and bend down, crouch on the ground to pick up babies, to you know ex examine women's tummies, all these kinds of things. And I don't wanna be in a situation where if I'm leaning forward, I feel a little bit exposed. I think this is probably borderline and I think I'll probably get away with it but watch and see. But that is something I expected with the fuller bust, to be honest. It's just one of these things, it happens. If I sized up, I feel like that might just give me that little bit of extra coverage. So again, I think I go for just a straight up 44 next time. So this has some pleats in the front of the bodice and there's actually meant to be pleats in the back bodice as well. I put pleats in my muslin and I felt like it was just really baggy in my lower back, mid back area. It didn't look very nice and neat and certainly didn't look very flattering. So on this version, I decided to add some darts. So I just changed the pleats to darts and I feel like that just fits my body and is just a lot more flattering and a lot more comfortable, doesn't feel as loose and floppy. 
There already were darts in the trouser part of the jumpsuit, so I just copied basically the same length, I think it was four inches, that was meant to be in the trouser. I made the same length of dart in the bodice. I feel like that worked really well, and like I said, I'm happy with that finish. I feel like it makes sense to me that the back is all darts and the front is all pleats. So in the front you have some pleats under the bust, and there's also pleats in the trouser. I was a little bit worried about that, that that was going to make me look fuller in my tummy than I am. It was going to add a lot of volume that I didn't really want, but I actually feel like it's surprisingly flattering on the tummy area, and the pleats look really cool. They go really well, I think, with the pockets that they've got on there as well, so there's some nice slash pockets on the front of the trouser. Always going to love jumpsuits with tra with pockets. Basically, anything with pockets, always a big win for me. And it, I will say, on the whole, it came together really, really well. I love the slimness of the trouser. They are definitely like a tapered leg, but they're not super tight. I feel like it fits really well over the bum area as well. It is very much a good jumpsuit as far as taking on and off, but I feel like for me, the easiest way to get this one off is to pull one arm out before I pull the whole rest of the body out. Getting on, it doesn't really have any issue, but getting off, it's a little bit awkward if you're trying to take both shoulders off at the same time, so top tip. Get one arm through before you pull the jumpsuit off and then I found it really easy to get on and off. I found the instructions on the whole were really great, really easy to follow. I did not have any issue with the instructions. Like I said, the construction was great. It came together surprisingly quickly, this one, and I was surprised I was able to knock out the muslin so fast that I was like, oh, great. I feel really confident going in to make the finished version and I do love the finish. I do love the look. Like I said, I feel like the finish on it, the look on it, it looks really high end. I feel like it looks really neat, really professional. It was super one to try and take some pictures of as well. I think mainly because this fabric is just so vibrant. It just feels really cool and it feels just a bit kind of elevated, a bit sexy, a bit grown up. I am really looking forward to wearing this jumpsuit out and feeling fabulous. I feel like I can dress it up, dress it down, and I'm definitely going to be making more versions and other fabrics. As I mentioned, I made a shorts version for my muslin. I wouldn't say that that one is wearable because I definitely made some boo-boos here and there with the pockets getting a bit floppy. So it's not something that I will wear, but I think it's something that I could definitely see myself wanting to make again. Because it was in a more drapey fabric, it was actually really a bit more playful and fun and flirty. This one a little bit more grown up. So I feel like you're gonna get different styles depending on the fabric that you use. And I think both work really well. But I will say for the lighter weight version, I did interface with some knit interfacing the band, both at the neckline and also the waistband. And I feel like that just helped to give it a little bit more structure where it needed it. With this ponty knit, because it's quite structured, I didn't feel like it needed anything like that. But I thought I would mention if you are thinking about making it in a different type of fabric that's just not quite as firm and stiff. Like I said, I am really looking forward to see what Emma and Sarah have done with this jumpsuit. It's going to be so much fun to see how they've made it their own and see how they got on with it. We did share a little bit here and there and some little previews and sneak peeks and ideas of what we're doing, but we haven't seen each other's finished garments yet, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've done with this pattern. Let me know in the comments down below if you have made the Sirocco jumpsuit, how you got on with it, what kind of fabric you use, because I'm so curious to hear what it's like working with different kinds of fabrics. If you enjoyed my video today, please do give me a like down below. It will help other people to find my videos. If you like seeing today's video and you want to see more, think about subscribing as well so that you don't miss any of them. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye!